Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charter Stone Digital Edition. Today we will focus on an alternative way of playing the game, which is single game mode. First we just create a game just as we would normally, uh, but the first difference comes here. Uh, first we get to select a map. Now, uh, we get a choice from a couple of pre-made maps or any maps that we have saved uh, throughout our campaign playing process. You can also save maps from uh, the single game itself, if you like the randomly generated one that you got. Uh, there are two pre and one by Tom v Vassell from Dice Tower. Uh, but also, uh, and very importantly, this mode is entirely modular, meaning that you can choose which modules uh, or game elements you will be playing with. For example, those would be assistants, guests, uh, items, etc. And also you can enable temporary rules that you know uh, or should be familiar from the uh, campaign itself, from the guideposts, right? So if you, for example, want to play uh, that your companion uh, worker cannot be placed on buildings occupied by your primary worker and also you want to ignore sky islands, income and uh, perils for example, you can do just that. But for the purposes of this video let's enable everything and let's not uh, mess with uh, temporary rules. However, this is a way that you can definitely influence your experience with Charterstone and uh, probably produce some crazy rules combos that otherwise would be difficult to do. Uh, so yeah, so let's not mess anything with this, let's randomly generate a map and confirm. A small interjection here, you can also always press the map button to preview the map you are randomly generating. If you don't like it, you can click randomize button in the bottom right corner and generate a new one. Whilst previewing, you can obviously see all of the buildings you will get, as well as all of the buildings on the Sky Islands. You will not know which player gets which Sky Islands, of course, but you can see which buildings are on them. Okay, one more thing, the way you save a map, and this works the same way in both single game and campaign game, uh, is that you go to the options menu, save this map, uh, save this as a new map, you can of course change the name, so why not, and confirm, alright, and that's it. And now let's go back to our game. Nothing new here, you just select the charger that you would like to be playing, so let's go with May, why not. Uh, just as previously we would select the uh, the players, uh, the other charges that we would be playing, so let's go with uh, easy green, medium red and medium purple, because why not? Four players will do for the purposes of this game. Now, the first difference from campaign, uh, of course, is as you can see the map is full, because this mode is supposed to um, simulate but also add on to the uh, the so-called game 12 plus or game 13 uh, which is uh, what in Charterstone, in board game Charterstone, you can play post-campaign games uh, meaning that you can get your board that you played your campaign on and carry on treating Charterstone as if it was sim simple uh, worker placement game. Now we have expanded upon this a little bit uh, but if you have played through the campaign which you we strongly recommend you do before you launch into this mode uh, then all of those will be familiar. So the first thing we need to do is place our Sky Islands, uh, unless you have turned those on in, in, the, uh, in the options, in the setup. Uh, this is the first thing you will do. So this is our charter because we are blue. Uh, as you can see, our randomly generated buildings are as follows. Like Every charter will have their basic resource building, this cannot go away. Uh, but other than that, those are fully random and can be from any different charters. For example, as you can see here, we can we get uh, minion generating building from uh, the grey charter as well as our own from our blue charter. Right? This is obviously from blue because it has uh, steel in the uh, in the cost, etc., uh, etc. Et right? So, but we have to play two scale islands. Uh, so let's see what we have here. We could uh, go full on uh, minion production, but this is dangerous because once you got, once you have them, you can't really do much about them. Uh, not really. Of course, you have building values as you normally would. Uh, okay, so let's uh, do it like this. Let's place uh, this building over this. And let's place, uh, I kind of like getting ghosts, but uh, I kind of like getting ghosts, but let's get actually cats instead over this and done. Alright, cool. 
Now the pearls uh, show up, but that's normal. You should be familiar with this if you've played the campaign. And now we can see who is going to be the first. So the green player Maritza will be first. Good, great. Now we get our starting bonuses. Those are to emulate the starting bonuses you would have uh, in the campaign, but are standardized for the uh, purposes of the um, single game. So first we get to choose if we want one minion uh, of our choice or one advancement card of our choice. Uh, now because I'm cheeky I'm gonna choose one minion, get a robot and get my card on my first turn anyway. And then whether we want to start with uh, two coins or three victory points. I think I will start with two coins. This goes uh, clockwise by the way, therefore uh, green player in here was first, picking then us, uh, then it's gonna be red and then it's gonna be purple. Right, cool. So let's get two coins uh, and accept. Of course if you were playing with friends uh, you'd have to wait for everybody's choice. Now we get to choose a persona we want. Now this is completely random, uh, there's no guarantee you will get one from your charter at all. Uh, which I think adds on to the, well, the random elements and uh, the variety uh, and the replayability of the game. Uh, as you can see, we can also get the endgame personas of Lawyer and Rebel, which is great. Uh, and Persona uh, Coach, after using a building, if you have at least four workers on buildings, you may retrieve all of your workers. This is very, very, very good. And I think I will get this. Uh, yes. This is so good, in fact, we had to change it a bit from the board game, but at the request of uh, the board game's designer, Jamie, uh, himself. Because the original uh, coach was just too powerful. Alright, cool. So now, uh, as uh, discussed previously, this is... Uh, in this mode, everything that you've seen throughout the campaign is unlocked. So there are perils, uh, there are uh, all of the different types of cards we have, uh, yeah, as you can see here. Uh, everything is in there. If we had a guidepost or if we chose a, a temporary rule, it would be here, but we didn't, so it's not there. Uh, yes, so we can see 17 progress advancements remaining, and depending on your playstyle and your opponent's playstyle, this may go very quickly or very slowly indeed. So let's see what we can do. Uh, first of all, what is here on the advancement card? Of course, one of the best cards in the game. Uh, alternatively, I could go hard on the on the income phase because at the beginning of the game it's very, very useful and I think actually I may do just that. Now, uh, let's get me another robot uh, because I can, but before that let's get a uh, craftsman and in a robot and look. Uh, of course, I have forgotten to check uh, what the uh, objectives is. Okay. Yeah. So, there's a persona that... Ah, right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I've been robbed of my uh, craftsman immediately. Well done. Uh, the persona from one of my opponents. Which is fine. Uh, it happens. I have two robots I can make up for it. No problems whatsoever. Uh, right, cool. Uh, so, what are the objectives for this game? Objectives work just as, as they would uh, normally. Uh, so yeah, I have six coins, have at least two assistants, and have at least four different investment cards. Cool. Uh, marvelous. Right, so let's try this again. Uh, let's try this again. Sure, yeah, this is good. Uh, this is decent because it's gonna give me some victory points throughout the game. Okay. Mm, of course, okay, red goes immediately hard on uh, Quota, which is a very wise strategy. Uh, okay, and green too, cool. Uh, especially in this mode where everybody has uh, gets some perils that they have nothing to do with. Uh, it tends to happen, and yeah, uh, of course they've used the, the cheapest options for for per pearls uh, already. Fair, more than fair, actually. Uh, now, uh, I would like another steal, please, uh, because I would like to get on this income as soon as I can, uh, because it's just going to be uh, you know, free victory points throughout the game. Okay. Actually, I should check what is causing this. Probably Persona or something? No. Yes, uh, there we go. Uh, 
red player has. After your turn, roll the Charter Stone. If you use a building in the Charter on your next turn, gain one victory point. So every turn, they roll a die, and they can get more uh, victory points if they go to the, the designated Charter. I, I actually like this persona a lot. Now, uh, now that we have two to medal, uh, let's visit the income building. Uh, yes, and I can use my persona because I have four workers. Remember, minions count as workers on the board, so I can retrieve them all, uh, giving me an advantage next turn. So cool. That, and also I have visits in my income building, which is great because income will come up a lot. Great, cool. Uh, also, as you can see, even though we're playing as uh, four players, all six starters are fully stacked with buildings. It's just more engaging this way. Okay, lovely. Uh, now, we have three perils, and Quota is unoccupied right now, so let's get in there uh, whilst we can, and uh, get the four victory points while we can. Now, I tend to be very aggressive in, well, any charter still game really uh, aggressive in terms of my influence usage. Uh, so it's possible this will not be very long because I tend to just use up all my influence uh, recklessly. Now, okay, cool. Uh, now, we could get the cat. Uh, unfortunately, we will bump the purple, uh, the, the, sorry, the green uh, player, but that's okay. Uh, I think it's worth it, and we still uh, we don't mind bumping our opponents because uh, thanks to our will you die? It's fine. Thanks to our persona, uh, we get there. It is there. It is. We save time as well. Anyway, okay, cool. Now the downside is we don't have much to do in our old charter just quite yet. Uh, what I would like is the golem. Uh, this is one of those minions I would really enjoy to have. Unfortunately, I can't really do that because I don't think there is a... S well, of course there is here. Uh, but that's the only source of clay I can see. Um, which is fine, which is alright. So let's start with... Uh, actually, no. Let's not start with this. Let's see first what... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Those are good. Right, so, uh, let's go with this and gain me a... Uh, mm, those are very powerful cards, so I'll take those actually over the income. If the income had victory points in it, I would probably take it. But since it doesn't, I don't really see... Well, it's still very, very beneficial, but not as much as I would like. Okay, uh, so now we have three workers on, on the board. One more, more and we will be able to recall our workers using our persona. Unfortunately, there is nowhere we can place our uh, minions uh, because of the, well, either I can't afford it or it's already occupied by somebody else. Uh, so, nothing to do, unfortunately. next turn cool now uh, let's also look at well I actually could have actually used the card to recall my worker uh, last time that's one thing I could have done probably should have I'm not sure now uh, let's see at uh, let's look at one of the most important changes in the single game because obviously uh, and naturally there is no opening crates or constructing buildings because the map is already full, there are no more crates to be opened, uh, there are no more buildings to be constructed. However, Zeppelin and Charterstone buildings already, well, still exist, right? They're, they are not going anywhere. Uh, basically, what, uh, what they do is they do exactly what they did uh, previously. However, with the exception of uh, constructing a building or opening a crate, respectively. But you can still use them to gain victory points, which is actually very, very valid strategy. Of course, also as well as the uh, the bonus benefit coming from 
the cards you may have, right? So for example, in here I would get victory points from Sherpa and possible reputation because I would uh, push the progress truck forward into this space, etc, etc. Of course, I cannot afford any of that. Uh, because I have zero coins and zero re or well, one resource, uh, but those buildings are still very much here and very much uh, available to be used. Right? Okay, cool. Uh, there is no uh, assistance here, uh, so I'm not bothered by it quite just yet. Uh, I will, however, uh, send my uh, robot here and gain. Uh, hmm. I will gain a peasant. All right. Uh, going hard on this income thing. I'm not sure if it's gonna pay off, but well, we will see. All right, and uh, now, unfortunately, uh. Still somebody else's robot there, which really annoys me, but I may have to just deal with it. Because I really, really, really would like uh, a golem. Golems are useful. Unfortunately, we didn't get to increase our reputation. Uh, by pushing the progress track rate beat us to it. Well, there, yeah, this is. <laughs> I believe this is a building that usually constructs other buildings, but because of the limitations, of course, it just gives uh, us victory points. Which is still very, very valid. Uh, actually, it's one of the. Wow, it's actually one of the most important, uh, most powerful buildings on the map, assuming somebody would get a chef. Which I'm not sure they are available. Because this is not a permanent loss of influence mine, this is just a regular one. Well, regardless, uh, let's give uh, them even more free cards. Cool. And, uh, okay, of course, uh, remember that at the end of my turn I can still play this card. This is the interface, if you've never seen it, this is the interface that, that does it, so once you've uh, you're about to quit your turn, you can uh, play the card that would be played in, in this moment, right? But I don't really feel like... Actually... Actually, yes, let's do that. Uh, yeah. So let's use this. Marvelous. Uh, let's recall uh, this guy. And let's get our... Uh, let's get ourselves a golem. Good. Lovely. I could, by the way, do it again. If I had another one of those cards, I could just play it again right now. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Okay, so now we are quite behind in points. But this is okay. This is okay. Because... I can just send my golem here, get literally any resource, because it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna spend it immediately, so let's just make it free uh, steel, metal, sorry, and enter, good, four points one coin, that's not bad. So let's get, of course, resource in this case uh, for me because this is what I'm going to treat as my main source of points. Uh, okay, now uh, two minions already. Uh, well, actually, yes, two minions already on the board. Uh, one worker, so one more worker, and now I'm going to be able to recall for free, which is fantastic, actually. Yes, and retrieve all of them. Good. Because I will have to pay all of them anyway. 
Fabulous. So like this, uh, every two turns I will be able to get four points. Uh, whether or not it's gonna be enough to win the game, that's a different matter entirely, but uh, searching for those uh, points generating engines uh, is kind of the clue uh, of this mode. Uh, assuming you haven't turned, uh, messed with the the, um, the settings, the, the modules uh, extensively, because that's fun in and of itself and uh, we probably should make a video about it <laughs> in the future, because you can get some crazy results by just uh, doing that. I'm still kind of intrigued by this. Honestly, because this is a lot of points, uh, honestly, right, uh, one of those would be a Sherpa, because if I remember correctly, yes, whenever I advance progress, and this advances progress, cool. Uh, I may think about it, uh, but I'm not sure if, yeah, I, I don't think it makes sense, because it's one more turn at least to get this, and uh, then this, and it's just more points like this. So, I'm not entirely sold. Right, let's get coal. Uh, coal. Because it's unoccupied, simple as that. Uh, let's not give the red player uh, free cards. Uh, unnecessarily. Anymore. Alright. Uh, and another one. Well, actually, no. Uh, let's send this here. I would like to make use of my free uh, recall. Let's give a cat to gain one last resource and get a victory point and retrieve all our workers. Life is good. Now we have all three of our resources, which is fine. Uh, but actually, because of that, I will use my cat. And why not? Why not? Why not? 20 points, marvelous. Uh, which gave me five points at the end, because four from the building and one from the cat, naturally. Now, I would like to get some influence, but I don't think ghosts are a thing that we can buy. Ghosts, if you don't know, minions that uh, allow you to increase your reputation wherever, you, whenever you uh, place them. Uh, so, what can we do here, actually? I'm not quite sure what. So, let's do it like this. Let's get uh, metal from the and metal from the building. Cool. Let's double down on this. Uh, yeah. Double down. Like, we don't have to even win the reputation, especially since green already has uh, uh, three. But I would like to at least get in there. Uh, to at least get some points from this. Still, uh, yes, at least two more. So let's hope we can we can get it, get it like this. Now, uh, yes. So let's. I I there we go. Now, we could afford this, but uh, progress track is not when I would like it to be uh, for us to do so. Therefore, 
uh, given that we are one 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 worker from our free recall and we have free coins uh, semi randomly uh, actually no not this one uh, not this one not this one not this one uh, because there's no reason to do so with this when I can get a free card as well uh, let's get amulet of memory uh, take sure let's get our two victory points uh, let's get a resource stack metal why not and retrieve all workers this cool persona is so good because it saves me so many turns of just recalling uh, of course we have to min max it a little bit but it's not so good now in terms of points we're not doing too bad we're behind uh, red and purple but not by much and it's definitely salvageable uh, so I'm not too fast about that. Uh, now let's send our golem back here. Uh, get why not? Uh, we'll get all the metal in the world. I would like to sit on those four uh, metal just for the, the the point where I can use them here and increase my reputation this way. Uh, of course, why not? Yes, uh, we are pretty much bringing resources, so I'm gonna get grain from income, and that's cool. Uh, one more scroll, sure. Actually, could be a very good... Actually, this is a very, very good uh, card for me. Uh, but not when the golem sits here, because then I can do much about it. Well, I could... Hmm. Okay, let's do it like this. Get the scroll. Now we will take it, not use it. We will paint the, the two coins. We will gain more steel and more victory points. Marvelous. Because now, uh, what happens is we can send our worker here and ignore this cost and get even more points. Uh, remember, you can only use scrolls. Or is it? Give me the inference. There we go. You can only use scrolls uh, in your charter. This is a very common feedback we, we get that people don't notice that you have to use those in your charter. If you just click use and go to another charter, you have used your scroll, but you still have to pay the, the cost of the building in another charter and everything goes to waste. So uh, be mindful of that. But uh, we can do it like this. Uh, actually, no, not like this. Uh, there we go. You can do it like this. And send, yes, there we go. You can see this icon means that we're gonna ignore the cost. And gain even more victory points. And a coin, which is nice. Okay. I really wonder how many points uh, the red player gained from this uh, from this persona of theirs. Okay, marvels. So we're again one uh, worker from a free recall, which is good. Items. Oh, there we go. Some. Oh, that's a good item. That's a very good item to have. Now, uh, hopefully, we will be able to get it. Uh, Although, I would need a pumpkin for that, and to get a pumpkin I would have to bump the... Okay. Okay, that is a bit tricky. So, instead, what we will do is we will send our cat in here and retrieve all of our uh, stuff. Good. Did I? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so, income phase, there we go. Yeah, I think I was too occupied, uh, too preoccupied with other things, and I didn't even notice the, uh, the, the progress track moved forwards, which happens, which is fine. Okay, now, 
we will do... Okay, yeah, uh, sorry, I have to... Uh, confirm the choices I've made in regards to my income. Uh, that's what happened there. Uh, now, what we will do is we will send a robot here. We will get the Iron Chalice. Lovely. And we will pay for it with grain, grain, and steel. Marvelous. Uh, yes, was this the last, uh, was this the last, no, it wasn't the last, okay, so maybe, hopefully, uh, next time I will remember to do something about that, actually. Uh, the game is, yeah, there we go, because Kevin has lost all his, uh, influence, so the game actually progresses quite quickly now. Uh, okay, now what we can do is we can well no we cannot do that quite yet but we will be able to once i have sent uh my golem here uh taking a pumpkin marvelous and created the iron chalice for victory points and the other yada good Those are just, uh, yeah, just friends, uh, which are not bad, but I've never uh, quite got used to using them uh, correctly. So, therefore, I tend to ignore them, probably wrongfully. Probably, if I lose, is partially because I've been ignoring those. Uh, okay. Now, uh, we... Ha okay, so, no, unfortunately too late and this will not happen. So, let's just use this whilst we can. Uh, some victory points, get uh, progress, get income. Marvelous. Sure. Uh, this tells me, by the way, that I've not been using my uh, influence quite as much as I could have, and probably should have, because you can do... Uh, you can gain a lot of uh, a lot of victory points if you just use your influence. Uh, and by the way, yes, I do remember I told uh, you I tend to play aggressively with my influence and then I <laughs> continued to not using it. Uh, but honestly, it's because this point generator was actually quite efficient. Uh, therefore, yeah, uh, I didn't see much point in doing so. Now, unfortunately, I cannot quite... Uh, gain more points in here, but I can get some points in here, definitely. Uh, yes, so let's just do it like this. Uh, pay an advancement card, so you can get... Uh, yeah, sorry, this one. Oh, it clicks, sorry. This one and uh, this one. Because it will, this will allow me to get into the the reputation track, so at least get uh, four points together with the red player. Cool, and retrieve all because why not? Honestly, doesn't really matter at all. Uh, probably could have sold something else and uh, gained a double turn with this card. Well, that's well. It's still right. Okay, cool. And that would be that. And, uh, okay, so we were second, uh, right after the purple player. Uh, not not that far off, so I'll take it. Our red player was uh, third, and the uh, red player was fourth. Very close game, actually. This here is, this doesn't matter because none of us tied in points, but, but this is how the tie would be resolved. First, we would see how many uh, reputation uh, tokens anybody got on the reputation track. So, how much reputation, in other words. Uh, if those were tied, like with me and the red player, uh, second thing is how many quota transactions uh, or quota actions uh, each player made. So, in this case, red would win because he uh, performed three quota actions, whereas I performed only two. And if that was uh, still tied, then the amount of components altogether we had, so minions, influence, coins, uh, resources, cards, etc., all of that. Uh, I would win that because I had 10 and Red only had 9. Alright, cool, so I hope you've enjoyed and uh, I hope you will give uh, the single game a go because it's actually quite fun, especially when you start messing with the uh, settings, with the modules and the temporal rules. Alright, thank you very much and uh, take care.